What's up? What's up? What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? It's your girl, Amari J. And I'm back with another video. I know I've been gone. And I've been gone for a little minute. Just a just week. Just a week. That's all, that's all, that's all. But, y'all can see, see that thumbnail. And y'all see this title. So, you know what we're finna talk about. We are finna talk about Forex. Is it a scam? Or is it? legitimate but i want to break down to y'all what forex actually is so forex f-o-r-e-x is is actually an abbreviation for the foreign exchange market that's what forex stands for so it's not something you do it's something you can get in because it is a market it is a trillion dollar market it is the largest market in the world and so with the forex it's something that we all participate in on a daily basis without even knowing it so forex is just simply exchanging currencies exchanging foreign currencies so um what our banks do with our money every day when you go to the bank well if y'all have a bank account so when i go to the bank i never physically see my money it's always on a piece of paper or a screen whether it's their laptop or if you got the app you look in on your phone screen you never physically see your money and that's because the banks trade the money between different currencies all day every day so that's how money gets value to it because it's different everywhere so our value may be higher one day and then the next day it may be higher in another country so they exchange it because the value goes up and down and then another example would be if you're going out of the country you can't spend your u.s dollars if you go to mexico no you gotta before you leave the airport you gotta exchange your money to mexican pesos so you'll be able to buy stuff when you get over there so that's what forex is and as i told y'all i am an investor so i do invest into the foreign exchange market on a day-to-day -day basis so i do exchange with forex on a day-to-day -day basis and a lot of people are like um, I heard that that's that's a scam and I don't know. A lot of people just didn't understand what it was when it was like popular. It's not just a wave, like it actually is something you should be really interested in, especially in this time because we're in a recession, whether y'all know it or not. Gas prices skyrocketed, like they done came down some, but they're still kinda high. Got Gas prices have skyrocketed. The value of food is going up. They're saying now it's actually cheaper to get fast food instead of going to the grocery store. They said uh, one baby cost like, um, was it? I think one baby, to have one baby is cost like $300,000. It's a lot of people popping out babies and they don't got that type of money. So y'all should really listen up. And then a lot of, a lot of people also say, also say is that like the stock market no forex and the stock market is two totally different things because when you invest into stocks that's more of a long-term thing and like i said i do i invest into the foreign exchange market on a day-to-day -day basis and this with the stock market you are when you invest into stocks you are like buying ownership of a piece of the company and you only make money when it is going up when the profit when it's profiting when like all the sales are up and like everything is good but when they crash then you lose all your money as far as with the foreign exchange market we make money whether you buy if the market is going up we buy if the market is going down we sell so we can make money either way and it's very simple because I am a part of a, a community. Uh, I don't really like to say community because the people they are so like it's just a like-minded group of individuals that have similar goals, or maybe some of them have the same goals as me. So, and we all want to be successful. So, it's very important to be around people who are like-minded as you because um, it's people already where you want to be so you can learn from them then it's other people that's trying to get there also so you all you all can like piggyback off each other with motivation encouragement different tips and things of that sort 
but you probably like how do you even trade you talking about buy and sell like how do you even do all of this so i will insert a clip Ooh. Ooh. i can just do it like this i got my other phone so like i said i'm a part of this community so we do have a chat that sends signals the trade signals so it looks like Okay, sometimes, sometimes they can look like this. It will be the chart, and then you just copy and paste those numbers. And you probably like, how am I supposed to know where those numbers go? Because when I got started, I didn't know what I was doing, but I made money within my first 24 hours of getting started. It was actually less than 24 hours, but I made money without knowing what I was doing. So if i could make money and i didn't know what i was doing imagine what you could be doing especially in this time of a recession my mentor always said um when he got introduced into investing that his biggest fear was not what if this is a scam what if i'm not gonna make any money it was the fact that he thought about what would it be like if he stayed if he didn't do it and he stayed in the same place or if he did try it and he became successful. So when he said that, like that gave me something to think about. I'm like, I, don't, I ain't trying to stay in the same place. I want to succeed. I want to be successful because I know I got a lot in my mind that I want to do and that I know I can do. So when I got started, I went ahead and went all in. Going all in. But, um... But with the signals and then maybe you're like, well, I don't want to sit around and wait for somebody to send me signals. And then the signals, it just pop up like a regular, you get a notification to make money. You is no other app or anything. Like it's nothing that does that. That you get a notification that sends you money. So like I was saying, if you're thinking, well, I don't want to sit around waiting on somebody to, somebody to send me a signal in the chat. So I am actually partnered with, as a community, we are partnered with the educational platform where you can learn how to do these things yourself. Like it breaks everything down to you. It's not, it's in little videos. Y'all watching my video right now. So I know you on YouTube. It's shorter than a YouTube video three to five minute videos that get straight to the point and they break every single thing down. Like if you were to get started investing to the foreign exchange market, the first video would be what is Forex and it's just gonna break it down to you. And like, it's just little videos, three to five minutes long that will do that for you. And you'll be able to learn to go from the beginning stages to the advanced stages so you will able to so you will actually be able to learn for it on your own because that's what our community likes to do. You want to be independent. You want to be. You don't want to be dependent on somebody else, waiting on somebody else to do something. No, you want to need to be able to learn how to do it for yourself and have your money working for you instead of you working for your money. That's something to think about. But just to get a little more into what is Forex, foreign, the foreign exchange market has been around for over 500 years. You probably like, what? I ain't never heard of it. They ain't taught me this in school. Yes, they did. They did teach us in school. It just wasn't called the same thing. So I'm pretty sure you guys remember the barter system or bartering. And that was simply just learning how people exchange goods for other goods, whether they were more valuable, and then they even start to exchange it for money. And that's still what we do today. Going into stores, we exchange money for clothes, for food, and a whole bunch of other luxury items such as cars, houses, and we also exchange money for services. We get our hair done, getting our hair cut, getting lashes like whatever it may be we're always exchanging something for something even when a friend asks you can you do a favor for them you're gonna say i will if you so 
we always exchanging. So it is something we do on a daily basis. And like I told y'all, I didn't know what I was doing when I got started. So once I got into the education and I learned more, I made money on my first day. I'm like, if I really just be consistent and learn more, it's no telling how much money I can make. So if you feel the same way, if you feel like this may be something you interested in doing, if you want to learn more, just comment success down below and I'll definitely be able to help you. So you can become a part of our community so you can learn how to make your money work for you, especially in this recession, like things are just getting bad. And another good reason to start investing or to um to what I was saying to become an entrepreneur and be your own boss is because we are in a technological era. So technology is really taking over a lot of things. Like a lot of jobs are are going to become obsolete, just irrelevant because technology is taking over. Like if you go to your local Walmart or maybe even Target, I'm not sure I don't really go in Target. But I know at my local Walmart, like most of them, a lot of them, like, are some, like, it still be some cashiers, but, like, few. Most people go to the self-checkout anyway, because I know I always go to the self-checkout. Unless I'm with my mom and she just got a whole bunch of stuff. But <laughs> most of the time, I go to self-checkout. And it's even one Walmart near me. Um, where was I at? I forgot. But I actually went to a Walmart and like it has no registers. Like the whole thing is self-checkout. So that's putting people out of jobs. There used to be cashiers there and now those cashiers are gone. Like, yes, they still, um, excuse me. Yes, they still need people to stock for them. But that's only until they build a machine that can do that for them. Um, we already have machines that can clean the floor, floor itself. So that's taking away janitor positions. It's like a lot of jobs are leaving. Then you don't want to be in a position. You don't want to wait too late. until You don't want to wait until you're out of a job before you try to look for a way you can do better. Why not do better now to prohibit that from even happening? You don't want to be put in a bad situation where you can't pay your bills, you can't pay for your rent, like whatever it may be. You can't put food on your table or if you just need that extra uh, uh, extra income right now, like this would be something for you. It's simple, it's easy, flexible, fit into anybody's schedule and I'm willing to help anyone and everyone do that. So like I say, you can just comment success down below if you're interested and you want to learn more. But yes, so that's all for this video. Like I say, I'm be dropping back to back to back because um I kind of went ghost on y'all for a little second. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. I'm gonna get back right. But that's all. Your girl Omarichi is out.